Good evening. He did spend more than a decade in prison for a horrible crime he didn't commit. And tonight, the state is refusing to shell out even a penny for all those years he spent behind bars. New at 6, News Channel 5's Chris Conti joins us. And Chris, this is common practice in Tennessee. Well, Vicki, this is there is not a single person that has been exonerated for a crime and been granted clemency by Governor Haslam. It's a difficult to turn over a conviction, but as Randall Mills has discovered getting compensation for the state for years stolen from him is nearly impossible. It's been hard. Like a slow, steady rain or a fresh coat of paint. Life sometimes offers us a chance to begin anew. Yeah, the last six years, uh, it's all been starting over every, every day. At 62, there are other ways Randall Mills had envisioned spending his golden years. Painting the inside of a church was never part of his retirement plan. I have time to really reflect on a lot of stuff. But then again, being sent to prison was never part of his life plan. I did 11 years and three months in prison. For a crime you didn't commit. For a crime I did not do. In 1999, authorities said Randall raped a 12-year-old. He was convicted a year later. In 2011, DNA evidence exonerated him of a crime he always denied committing. You know, you think when you're exonerated that your life will fall back in where it was, but it doesn't. As if being wrongly convicted wasn't punishment enough, though. It, it makes me angry. A letter from the state denied his request for clemency. He will receive not a cent from the state for the 11 years he sat in prison for a crime someone else committed. And we were somebody, and the state took that away from us, you know? We're not criminals. We're people that work just like everyone else. The state's parole board offered him no explanation for the denial. I am bitter. You know, my whole life, man, was, it was it destroyed. But like the walls he paints, Randall knows he's been given a fresh start. That's all I can do right here. He just wonders why the state doesn't see it that way. From the state parole board today, this statement, Mr. Mills' application was thoroughly reviewed. The facts and circumstances of this case do not merit a formal hearing. And so because of that, he's apparently out of options here. Ladies. Chris, thank you.